Road safety is increasingly at the center of attention of us all. The nearly 170,000 accidents in which 2,500 people die every single year in the United Kingdom say it all. Guardrails effect to mitigate the risks of car accidents. However, not all of them provide the same degree of safety. EN 1317 classifies guardrails into four categories by their capacity to retain a vehicle, meaning not all the systems offer the same level of safety. CS Beton only deals with developing and manufacturing guardrails in the top retention classes. These are guardrails designed for the most demanding settings. Unless the guardrail is made in the retention class corresponding to its current load, the risk of destruction of the guardrail, the crashing vehicle, and dangers to the persons involved is high. The highest degree of retention, H4B, is met by a guardrail that has passed the TB11 and TB81 tests. The TB11 test involves the impact of a passenger car weighing 900 kilograms on the guardrail at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour at an angle of 20 degrees. In the TB81 test, the guardrail has to retain a lorry weighing 38 tons at 65 kilometers per hour and 20 degrees. The vehicle must not cross the guardrail or bounce off it during impact. The ideal interaction of the guardrail system is leading the vehicle along the rail while the energy trails away. During the test, the total guardrail system deflection determines the work width, knowledge of which is essential for the appropriate application of the guardrail. Post-impact structural cohesion is an important property of guardrails. The European Harmonized Standard requires meeting strict criteria, including that the weight of chunks of concrete tossed around not exceed 1.5 kilograms. Articulated joints enable easy initial deformation even under small forces. Upon the impact of a relatively large passenger car, this property makes it possible for the guardrail row to deflect and thus reduce the impact strength index. As the system deformation grows, the joints between the elements tense up, significantly increasing the system rigidity. This situation occurs when a heavy goods vehicle impacts. The growing deformation of the guardrail increases the system rigidity and its capacity to withstand the high kinetic energy. Making a good guardrail is a matter of extensive technical development. Concrete guardrails are a modern and highly effective means of retention and direction of vehicle trajectory, establishing a safety zone during impact. The concrete guardrail system for roads comprises individual reinforced concrete elements linked in a statically resistant catenary curve. It reduces the g-force in a crashing vehicle by utilizing the friction force and its own deformation. The guardrails are linked using an articulated bolted joint, which fully preserves the static capacity and makes them easy to disassemble. The articulated joint is a patented method for linking the guardrail elements. It makes it possible to build guardrail rows in arcs at radiuses starting from 30 meters. The unique articulated mechanism also permits vertical arcs at an 80 meter radius while retaining the full safety parameters of the system. In the event of guardrails being damaged by an impact or otherwise, the articulated joint permits easy disassembly, replacement of the damaged segment, and easy restoration of the system to full function. The internal reinforcement of the element with plastic fibers reduces the occurrence of bulk cracks and ensures integrity, significantly reducing the tossing of concrete chunks in the event of destruction. During an impact, the concrete material of the guardrail is exposed to extreme strain, which ordinary concrete could not withstand. CS Beton has therefore developed a special internal reinforcement with plastic fibers spread evenly across the concrete bulk. The reinforcement fundamentally improves the concrete properties when strained due to vehicle impact. 
The concrete guardrail thus retains its integrity without fragments being ejected around. C.S. Betton carefully monitors the material quality. The key issue is to have the functional parameters of the guardrail authenticated by the Technical and Test Institute for Construction. Only their certificate guarantees that all the parameters have been met. Have a safe journey!